Aya. I checked out American Murderer. It's a crime drama directed by Matthew Jean Till that's based on the true story of Jason Derrick Brown, a desperate scammer who landed on the FBI's top 10 most wanted list after he gunned down an armored car guard for some cash. The film highlights Jason Derrick Brown's hectic life and what went down up until his disappearance. The film suggests he followed his father's footsteps, but it's not clear what type of scamming his pops was involved in. Jason stole and scammed people into investing in his fake businesses and ideas to fund a luxurious lifestyle filled with overseas trips, luxury cars, and drug-fueled parties. But once his funds ran low and he couldn't borrow more money from friends and family, he racked up a huge gambling debt with a shady criminal organization which put his life in danger. The film shows how a life filled with bad decisions leads to desperation and violence because to settle his debt, Jason plots a deadly robbery on a security van transporting money all while being investigated by the FBI. The film story was mildly suspenseful with decent twists and action scenes and there was also a heavy romance aspect to this film. But I have so many beefs with the script that it's hard for me to believe that this film was all based on a true story and they ain't put a Hollywood spin on it. Let's set it off with where was that guard's backup at that busy mall cause I've never seen an armored guard walk around with bags of cash solo. Also, how were the goons Jason owed money able to locate him and deliver a beatdown but the FBI couldn't locate him with all their resources to deliver him to jail? Also, if his sister lied during the first 48 of the guard's death about what car Jason swerved off in after the murder, then why wasn't she charged for that? Because that led to his clean getaway. I got a long list of other BS I could call out, but it would take way too long. I never heard of Jason Derrick Brown up until this film, but Tom Pilfrey literally killed his role as Jason. He was a hella convincing con artist, and I couldn't tell when he was lying or telling the truth because he backed up his lies with lies on top of lies and could turn on and off the waterworks at will. I honestly think the real Jason could have just been a lazy drug addict who finessed people to feed his bad habits and that's why they highlighted the fact that he played with his nose and stayed high to avoid dealing with his problems or feeling any remorse for his actions cause he was waist deep in ish and kept digging a deeper hole for himself. It's hard to believe that they still haven't caught him to this day though. Overall, the film had a slow start and the story felt kind of choppy because of all the flashback scenes, but they were crucial to showcasing Jason's backstory. I kind of feel like this film was made to make viewers sympathetic for this lazy, lying, conniving SOB by showcasing the great relationship he had with his landlord and her son and the dysfunctional relationship he had with his family members who he also scammed, but I doubt People will feel any compassion for a dude that killed a young man for money most people make a year from just going to work every day. 
There's definitely a lot more criminals that have made the FBI's top 10 most wanted list with backstories way more exciting than Jason's that could have been made into a film. But this film was definitely entertaining enough for me to run it two mics. Let me know what y'all thought about American Murderer in the comments below. If y'all enjoyed the video, make sure that you like and subscribe. I have movie related content dropping every week. So lock in with me by hitting that like and subscribe button. And I'm going to get up with y'all in the next video. All right? All at me. I came from uptown, way uptown. I came from uptown, way uptown. I came from uptown, way.